Well, of course, as that uh, back and forth over peace talks takes place, so too does the battle on the ground. Syrian media is reporting the death of five children in two separate airstrikes by Russian forces in Aleppo and Damascus. The attacks are said to have hit two kindergartens inside rebel-controlled areas and injured scores of children. Surav Roy reports. This kindergarten in eastern Ghouta has just been hit by an airstrike. And the teachers are calling out to their students. They're asking everybody to move out. The village was targeted by an airstrike. The airstrike directly hit the kindergarten, which led to the injury of 15 children. One woman and child were also killed. Two children remain seriously injured. The classrooms have been reduced to rubble and injured children moved to a makeshift hospital. We're sitting in peace when suddenly the airplane struck our children and killed and injured many of them. May God take his revenge. All I can say is may God take his revenge. This prayer service is being held for a child who died in the attack. And as villagers bury the body, Russian aircraft hover in the skies, preparing for fresh attacks on opponents of the Syrian regime. And in a separate airstrike in Aleppo, a Russian fighter jet dropped a bomb on a school. Syrian media reports that dozens of children and teachers were injured. A bomb hit here. Can you imagine that? This is a civil area. You see children and school over here. There are no armed forces. Why attack us then? Syrian activists say that Russia has been selectively wiping out Bashar al-Assad's opposing groups under the pretext of combating Daesh. While Moscow says allegations its strikes have killed civilians are absurd. But claims and denials are meaningless to many civilians here who feel they have little protection from any side in this conflict. Saurav Roy, TRT World.